Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you some cool old Panasonic Globe CFLs here. Now I recently shown these in one of the uh, restore videos. They were in a big, you know, vanity light bar. There were four of them. Two of them didn't work. I tested them at the store and these two did. So of course I just picked up the two that did work. Now they're not in the best of condition. This one has some paint on it and uh, this one does too somewhere. It's just a little bit right there. But they do both work just fine and I'm actually using them for video lights right here but I replaced them just so I could share them with you here. So let's go ahead and take a look around the bottom. They're both the exact same thing. They call them light capsules. I, that was a Panasonic thing and of course any of them that were early CFLs. It's 10 watts. I would have expected it to be a little more but it's not. Of course all this information that they're required to have and then I'm guessing some type of a date code. Now all these have the same one on them, even the ones that were still at the ReStore that didn't work. They're all the same, so I'm sure whoever bought these bought them all at the same time. I'm sure they weren't cheap either. Um, one of the reasons that I really like this design is they molded the ballast base here nice and evenly with the curvature of the rest of the bulb. So when you look at it straight on, you don't really see it but it also doesn't make the bulb stick out any further than it already has to. So I really love this design. It brings back a lot of memories when I was first seeing these kind of bulbs um, being used. So really cool to finally have this in my collection. Inside we have um, a U-bent tube, kind of like a PL bulb, but they curved it. And you can see faintly one, two of the um, of the lights there. Let me see if I can find a a flashlight or something so I can show you a little better here. Oops. Okay. So there you can see it's it's like a PL bulb in um, its shape at least on this side. But if I turn it, you can see they just looped it over. So it's very skinny in the middle there, and then they looped it. So it's a very simple design. I'm sure they just used, you know, stuff that they already had on hand and uh, bent a PL bulb over. Usually you'd find ballasting equipment and stuff in the middle, and maybe there is, but it's down so low you don't see it. Very cool though. The other one is the exact same thing. As you can tell, very nice design. I really do like that they um, used a, a bulb of that kind inside. So, let's go ahead and turn them on. Once I turn that thing off, let's screw it in here. And it turns right on. Of course, I was just using these, but you can see the fluorescent tubes inside. I'm not sure what side it starts on, but of course it goes up, then welds itself across to the next tube and continues its loop back. So very nice, simple. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these um, different lights here. Okay. So now we can have a slightly better view of what it looks like. Of course, a lot of light centered here at the top just because it's so close to the glass. And if it's a little brighter on the sides too, again, because of how the bulb in the inside is shaped, but a very cool design. So again, very happy to have these in the collection. Overall, I really do hope you enjoyed this quick little video of these older CFLs right after the time of the preheats starting to become into the spirals like we have uh, now the LEDs, of course. But anyway, a nice little piece of history. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.